Hello everyone and welcome to Dark Marketing and in this video we're going to talk about Scrapebox. Scrapebox is an essential tool that every SEO, affiliate, backlinking, whatever you want to classify what you do under the roof and genre of all these softwares, this is an essential tool, Scrapebox. So we're going to talk about this a little bit and how I utilize it. And in the context of these videos that I've been doing, this is the right time for this. Now, one thing I've tried to do throughout this channel is kind of take you on a learning process step by step, kind of starting with the easier softwares and working our way up to the more difficult. Now, if I really wanted to be true to that type of model, I would have done GSA Search Engine Ranker last. But as you see in all of my videos, I try to give you what is a quick start guide approach so that you can get up, get running, get going, and enough information to build on and start learning and take things to the next level. So there are still two softwares that we need to cover, which are XRumor and Ranker X. But one thing that we also will be talking about more is uh, GSA Contact Form Manager, which is just really, if you're, if you're going to be doing affiliate marketing and using these softwares, that is not going to be one you're going to be ignoring. You're going to be utilizing that. And so before we kind of work our way around, and, and of course, even GSA uses List, that's why Scrapebox is such an essential tool. So let's just start off by taking a look at just some simple things that mostly I do with this on a on a regular basis this is just a common function is great list management okay but what Scrapebox primarily does is it scrapes it scrapes information it scrapes URLs or contact forms or email addresses okay from from websites or from search engines and directory sources so we're going to take a look at a little bit of all of that but i just want to start off in the context of how i use this pretty frequently for list management because if you guys want to make money online well you can't make money online without this software involved in your processes with gsa website contact form manager because this is an essential tool and we're going to really explore why now Scrapebox has many useful purposes and in its overall design it may seem both complex and simplistic in that it's broken down into these sort of main sections. Our proxy section down here, our keyword section, our URL harvester, and our comment poster. Now what is our comment poster? Scrapebox gives us the ability to do the same thing that we can achieve with GSA website contact and let's let's start that up because I want to show you some differences in the scraping between that product and this product okay I just wanted to make sure that this is the right system because I've got three systems that I run Scrapebox on and I want to demonstrate something that I scraped with GSA but so you understand the license for Scrapebox is fixed to the system that you install it. Although you can migrate it once a month. At the beginning of the month, it will reset. If you move that license to another machine, it will automatically, the first time you log in, after the first of the month, it'll reset to a new machine. But then it's locked to that machine for 30 days. I have three licenses that I use. Now, for me, there are two main things that I generally use Scrapebox for most frequently, which is list management and for scraping keywords. So let's just take a look at like the list management because I don't do infinite things in these office. The majority of my work involves my clients, their SEO. I do a lot of analysis time and it's a lot of setups of backlinking campaigns. So that's where the brunt of a lot of my time goes. Affiliate marketing is an extra thing I can do when I have time and systems and I feel I've got a winning product and the marketplace to tackle that. So in my case of using like contact management, GSA's contact management software, 
is I use it to promote my own services of my websites directly. Now, in that case, I haven't been scraping my own lists to, to get those contact forms. I've been purchasing those lists because it's more convenient. And I purchased those lists from um, Ryan Borden. Ryan Borden does all of the scrape box tutorials for years. So if you look for him on YouTube and you want to see all the little different types of things that scrape box can do, he's got a video for everything. And you'll see that it dates back like some 12 years. So if there's anyone that is the master of scrape box, it is this guy. He also does some of the tutorial videos that GSA uses on their websites for their software. So he's been around for a while. He's also partnered with Chase Reiner and they're selling these make a million dollar a day courses using GSA Money Robot. But like I pointed, not GSA, GSA Contact Form Manager. But like I pointed out, you're not going to make money with someone else's list that they're selling to a lot of people and using the same products that they're selling. Those lists are burnt out. For me, those lists work because in one sense, no one is using it to promote my sites, only me. So they have value, it's a time saver, and I can use my systems on other things. However, I've got more focus campaigns I want to do, so I want to be able to scrape my own targeted niches. So we're going to cover a little bit of that. But in the list management aspect, I will download a list from them. Uh, from I, I get them mine from Ryan Borden. And like, for example, I get a USA list and a world list. And you basically get a million of each. But when you get it, you get one big full list here. You can see it's the big file, 53, 596 kilobytes, right? So in order to get that list into a work, you're not going to run a million lists through your, G, you know, set up a campaign where you're going to run a list with a million because, you know, it's going to take one month. What I do is I set my campaigns in increments of 100,000. So in order to do that, I've got to be able to, uh, get in here and import a list. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my, okay, I'm going to go in here, take my April list, as you can see, USA, April 2023. It's the full list. I click it, importing, and voila, everything is in here. Now, while it's in here, you see, it's got all these little list management tools. So I can remove duplicate URLs. Okay, and there were a few dupes. Goes through the list. So now we're down. And this list had a, over a million in it. Sometimes they frequently give you extra. Okay, and there's going to be some dupes. So you want to just get the small amount of dupes out of there. Okay, now that I've got this list, and you'll notice, you'll see that they all, a lot of them, not all, don't have the contact, the exact contact form. So that's important to understand that. But what we want to do here is we want to export our URLs in the list. So now what we're looking to do is export and split. Or that, no, export and split. And see, what's going to happen here is we're going to select and that's okay. But what's going to happen is it's going to take this and as it says, I already set 100,000 so it's still in there. But I can set any quantity I want. URLs in each text file and then just hit apply. Once the process is done, it will automatically add a one, the next number, then a two, then a three, and break the list down until you have them in 100,000 increments with the last one just being the balance. So now I have lists that I can manage that are clarifiable in the sense that, okay, now I know what I've got. So I've got my USA and I've got my world lists. Understand? And just to give you a little better insight into how I approach these, 
Let's take a look at my Google Drive. And in here, I keep a sheet of all the things that I'm running. And so, every time I set up a new campaign, it goes at the bottom of my sheet. And I'm basically saying what the campaign is. This campaign is for my website, SEO Depot, showing the list that I'm running. Okay, list two. I keep some other basic information. It's all the same here. This tells me the date that I started and which machine I'm running on so I can keep track because obviously I've got a lot of machines in here and what we're really going to see on this this are these are just my GSA contact campaigns so this is how I kind of stay organized because I've got four I've got seven licenses but I'm generally running four at a time when I'm running a campaign just so we you know kind of understand that aspect of it so now I've got my list split that's how I use the list management tools. There's a lot of little extras in here. Like after you do a list, sometimes, you know, you may be scanning a website list because you want to collect emails. That's a different function. You don't want all these contacts. You might want to do certain things to the list. Like um, you can trim URLs. Let's see. There's, there's so many options. You just got to really kind of get in here and, ah, here, trim trim to root so if I were to select trim to root in this list now all those contact form addresses that's all gone it's just just the root URL so there's a lot of little manipulation tricks you can do with your list so it's a very nice little Swiss Army tool in that regard now another thing I may do with this is I might want to scrape keywords and so generally I may take a small list of keywords like Let us find something. Okay. Well, this is not big, but we can paste them in here. And we could just say, hey, keyword scraper. Let's scrape some keywords. Select our sources. Generally, Google suggests is enough. You don't want to overwhelm the thing. You just want to get a quick list. But feel free to experiment with this because obviously if you had some more specific purposes ta targeting shopping sites or things like that you might want to get different types of data in this we're just looking for some basic keywords so I'm going to keep this simple we can go down four levels on a website now this pertains to what you might be scraping for if you're looking for contact forms you only need to go one level they're almost always going to be a link right off the home page so but that's a different scenario we're keyword scraping so let's just let's just give it a start and we're using the proxies that I put in here and you need proxies for this HTTP proxies not IPv6 they must be IP4 so and what's going to happen is this is now doing a little scraping here and it's going to give us a list of keywords. Okay, we're already racing away here. Let's just stop it. And we see now we've got all these additional keywords that it gave us. Now, we can transfer these keywords over here and run it again and expand on that. Okay, and we can use these keywords for... put them right in here and these could be come the keywords for scraping sources okay which we're going to talk about but we're not using the content poster on here we're not using this to fill out contact forms this has multiple multiple things it can do and just a quick look here <coughs> excuse me these are all the add-ons for which that scrape box will provide specific functionality but mostly I find that they are useless in my universe they have no purpose or play in here is the premium plugins now these plugins need to be purchased and 
I am about to be purchasing some plugins, which we are also going to talk about in this video. Because now I'm doing my own list scraping. So I just wanted to kind of take you through a couple quick basics about, you know, the keyword scraper, how you can build keyword lists that you may, you might want to use those keywords in other softwares like your uh, Money Robot and SEO Autopilot and GSA search engine ranker campaigns. You can already start to understand why you might need those keywords when you're scraping sites with GSA or for your anchor text, okay, with inside of your uh, articles and part of your article creation content to give GSA chatbot direction when you're creating your content and, and your content for your backlinking campaigns. See where I'm going with all this? So this is a very essential tool. Now another thing that this tool will do is it will merge. Like I can take this keyword list and merge it with another list. For example, if I really, if I, if I wanted to do some specific searches, and we're going to talk about that. In fact, let me pause the video and let's switch system. Now, this is another system that is currently running and harvesting contact form URLs of a specific niche. <coughs> now, what I did here is I had made a list of all the cities and states in New York, and then I merged it with a list of keywords okay and let's just take a look you can see here this is my list of New York and this is the list of plastic surgeon keywords so it's not overly extensive I've got 65 keywords and I, I want to share that with you and just the total list of city and states in New York there are 105 so what we are getting is quite a multiple when we merge those two lists that allows these are now the keywords that it is using to harvest URLs, okay? Now, this has been running since last night, so I would say, uh, well, at least a good 12 hours, and I'm only at 3%, and right now, I've harvested 20,000 URLs. Now, let's just take a quick switch, go back over to here, because in this process, what I've done is on the other system I set platforms okay and down here all I have to do all I want is contact forms so that is all it has to do I could have merged the word contact contact us I could do some things like that you can scrape it out with the keywords but that's not necessary this way I'm maximizing my keyword strategy and because what I'm trying to do over here is get a very specific market okay I want all the plastic surgeons in New York and so what I did is select what I think is the best phrases so understanding how to develop those good phrases is going to really come from you being able to do some smart keyword research and that's where also now just so you understand how I think about building my keyword list because you know when you start learning about these things and you want to you know uh, start the process you realize that each little stage there's a lot of bit of work that you need to do and put some thought process into it from every angle just like you're gonna put a lot of effort into the quality of the campaigns that you're gonna create also your keyword research is equally important. So using Ahrefs, of course, I did some searches on some of the top phrases. And what I want to do is kind of look in here at what some of the top phrases are that I could pick out. Now, obviously, look, plastic surgeon near me is a given because that's going to return. Google takes that as it's always going to return what's near you whether if I put plastic surgeon in or plastic surgeon near me okay so I don't really need this phrase and I don't need salary but I pick out the ones that are useful for my list and then you know there are other phrases that I'm gonna to have to consider like like breast 
implants. Okay, and see, and obviously when I change breast implants to breast augmentation, I'm going to get some different things. And I'm going to pick out the best, best generic phrases that I think are suitable that are, the, that are the money phrases for these plastic surgeons and a variety of things that they do as it falls under cosmetic surgery. It might also be rhinoplasty. There's other things. I didn't just focus on breast implants. But it's that market that I'm trying to hit. The reconstructive, cosmetic, breast implants, facial, rhinoplasty, all of that. Elective surgery. That's really the key thing because there's money in this business. These doctors... Their patients are not riding on insurance. These are elective surgeries. There's a lot of money involved. Solid kind of clients. I want to get very tapered lists. Okay? So I work on my list. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to ChatGPT. And I ask ChatGPT to give me... I need a, I need a list. SEO search phrases related to plastic surgeons and I let it see what it gives me and I'll do a couple of different searches to see what comes out see that top rated plastic surgeons city and state that's where my list comes in understand and of course uh, I don't want quotes, so I could just tell it no quotes, and it'll rewrite the list, and then I'll pick out the stuff from this. Not everything in here is necessarily something I want, but I basically came to a 65 top phrases, drawing upon several different resources and using my basic common sense for the objective. Now, I also know this industry because I used to do a lot of work with the top plastic surgeons in the tri-state area through another company. I used to go out and service their sites and operations and in-office operations. So I, this is a market that I understand and know very well in terms of their business model and how it presents. So for me, this is my money-making thing. Because if you want to get something where you're going to say, hey... I want to, you want to make 3000 per day, 3000 per day? Listen, those things are not going to happen purchasing somebody else's list. They're going to happen from you making a very targeted list and something that you can refine. So, you know, when you go in some of these videos that they're showing you, a lot of times they're telling you that, you can use ClickBank or Digistore24. Let's just take a quick look at that. Okay, this is just a little off the cuff because I wasn't planning on going into ClickBank here. But because, you know, you'll see this as an example that they show in their videos sometimes. Like, hypothetically, you know, and they're showing you products that you're never going to be able to sell using GSA contact form. Because, like I explained... If you, uh, these are top offers. I just went to the top thing. These things like uh, diet offer on ClickBank, you're not selling diet offers in people's contact forms on their websites. They're not interested in that, okay? You've got to have something that works. So even if you're just doing a general list that is a one size fit all, you may get lucky and get one sale after you run 2 million submissions all month. But I would say you're very lucky if even that happens, that you get one or two. And that is not a valuable investment of your efforts because to run two million lists, you need four copies of GSA running in a month. Really, if you're going to really run two million, break those lists down, USA and uh, world list, I'm telling you, not going to happen. Now, these are not the kind of thing that you're going to uh, be able to make money. But wait a minute. Maybe there's something here. This is a hypothetical, but this is my hypothetical. Uh, something that's a monster in the dental niche, right? Unique angle delivery method for a quality soft candy just launched. 
the EPC is already up for all this can make your bed. Ba ba boom. Okay. All I know is that this is dental. And is this something that maybe I could promote to dentists? I don't know. So I might want to take a diff different look. And, but let me just say to myself, yeah, I think there's something really good in here that maybe dentists wanted to promote. And I'm not saying that this necessarily is, but what I'm trying to suggest is there needs to be a connection between the product and the end source that you're trying to get to. So in my case, when I use GSA contact form, I'm selling my stuff, which is SEO related backlinking. It's basically something anybody that's on the web to market is going to use. So there's a much higher probability for my success rate because it's a, it's a one size fits all. These are not one size fits all. These are, you know, put a blindfold on, spin around with a dart and hope that when you throw it, not only you hit the dartboard, but you got to land the bullseye. The odds are slim to none. It's not going to happen. So what you really want to do, and I, I don't even recommend that ClickBank is the, the, the main source for you finding things to affiliate. But what I want you to do is understand the thinking of the process to connect products to certain genres or websites. And that's where we're going to get into, we get into this because what I have is a specific service and product that I want to market to the plastic surgeon industry alone, that elective surgery market. So that's why I'm building up a very nice list. Now, I have three licenses, so I can experiment a little bit. I'm running with no plugins or add-ons here. I'm using the list that I showed you, just New York City and a six, uh, New York cities and state and a 65 phrase keyword list so we're basically getting multi you know you do the math you can multiply that that's a lot of searches and so even though it's only at three percent and in 12 hours i got twenty thousand. that's pretty good now i'm not going to let this run endlessly because what i also found is sometimes when i also sometimes when i pause this and then i start it again and i got to check how my thread settings are because it doesn't seem like it's moving very fast at times but 20,000 that might be phenomenal when I'm done so since I'm busy I'm gonna let this run a few more hours and then at some point I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna analyze the results of my list and we'll probably with a little luck we'll get that into this video now let's come back here to my other system because what I want you to see is by right now you're probably saying to yourself well can I scrape with GSA website contact yes you can and here's the results of a scrape that I did using keywords and I just use keywords not cities and states you know I did several tests with this and looking at the results okay of what it scraped and you could see I've got all contact forms and because that is what it's specifically, mostly, you know, but see, we get some here. There's no contact for site here. So it's missing some. They're not all verified in the sense that they're all checked for contact forms. So we got a lot of sites, got a lot of contact forms. That's a useful list. But am I getting as good a result as I'm getting over here? I would say not because I've made... I did several different types. I also did some on another system, and I realized if I'm really going to hit the real numbers, I'm going to need Scrapebox. Now, right now, in a lot of the um, setups that I'm doing to scrape URLs, I'm only using Scrapebox. I'm not using any premium plugins. But the truth is, there's a couple of plugins, specifically the Yellow Pages premium plugin, that's going to be extremely useful to this process. So we're going to get into that, okay? But what I want you to take away so far is that if you really want to use GSA website content, contact to its fullest, to really kind of, you know, you really want to dream about doing this, Where you're making, you know, I mean, these are kind of crazy things. Thousand per day, 20,000. Yeah, really? You're doing all of that? Because to me, you need a lot of systems. 
in order to make that happen. And you've got to be doing very, very targeted things. Because, look, guys, when you take one of these courses, it's a lot going to be a lot like <laughs> my channel in the sense that They're teaching you the basic road Stop. to get to get started. They're teaching you the basic road to get started, okay? And that's what my videos are basically doing for you. And they're giving you, hey, you can buy a list from them. You're going to buy the training course. And, you know, if they're lucky, I don't know how many people they get signed up a month. And I'm not saying that these guys are illegitimate. They make money because... This guy's got a lot of systems running, and he's partnered with uh, Ryan Borden, and this guy's been around for years. I know him. They are doing things. However, to think that you're going to just kind of get rich quick, like get one of these and buy their list, and then just churn and burn, you know, some something out of uh, out of ClickBank or off of a list that they are going to provide you of some of the things that they have sold, I'm sorry, but that is not going to happen. You are not going to be achieving anything like this. Because like I said, if I had something, I, I got 20 systems in here. If I had something I could just knew reliably that for each system I made just $100 in some sale whether it's affiliate or otherwise and that i could replicate that across seven systems or 10 or 20 i would do that every day just to get a hundred dollars per system per day okay so now have i had things where i made incredible money yes but that is going to only happen when you understand that you have a specific product or service that you're going to sell to a specific niche that you can really make work well. And so if you really want to maximize things, you're going to need Scrapebox. Scrapebox is the tool that's going to allow you to build some really big lists. Now, this thing can run much faster. I could have put, you know, uh, if I just want to get contact forms, there's a lot of just general terms and I could spread out all over the place and just make lots of lists. And I'm I'm going to do that too. Just make some big general lists. I want to see how long it takes me to construct a million lists of just general things. I'm sure it's pretty good. Now, that being said, just a quick note, as you see over here, is about the proxies. You might be wondering, well, how many proxies is he using? Right now, I'm just using 10 HTTP proxies. It's just basic, you know, they are the more cost of your proxies of the type of proxies that you buy but I, I found I only need like 10 for this to really run any type of campaign and um and I've been fine with that and as you can see I've been running this isn't running at any killer rates although I'm getting some really good uh you know backlink numbers I'm probably going to stop this because it seems to have stalled since this morning but you know if I get even 15,000 really good resources out of just the state of New York, I'm a winner. I'm a winner because that's just one state and I'm just kind of, sometimes you got to just let things go a little extra long to see if you kind of really hit the apex because what's probably happening here is it's, it's fine, you know, as it continues to go, even though it's running different search phrases, possibly a lot of the same content is going to be coming up and so it's not gaining anything new and so the, the rate is really slowing down whereas other things I've run and you'll see this progress bar run much faster up into a completed thing and we could I could probably just put a list of all kind of general phrases and just anything cars trucks fishing boating you know every hobby cooking every kind of just general phrase that I could just ramp up and change that, you know, do that setting because I just want, that's the other nice thing, I just want contact forms. So here with the platforms, you know, that's all I needed to do was set this. Now, custom footprint, look, there's a whole universe of things you could do. You can use Scrapebox to scrape and make custom footprints for GSA search engine ranker. So you can actually build lists for GSA Search Engine Ranker with this software.
Okay, so the the applications for this are pretty endless. As you start to um, look, everybody's angle is a little different when you get into marketing or whatever it is that you're doing. And as you start to use these softwares, list management, getting keywords, being able to scrape things like you might need to scrape emails or build lists and develop lists. This is that tool because between the scraping and list management, you're going to really find that it's a pretty, pretty indispensable tool. And so like right now, I'm really amping up on my own list creation as I start to move into trying to target specific markets, both with my own business and other things that I want to market with them. And so in this process, we're going to, you know, share this with you so you can gain some insights because, you know, just having the software and, you know, buying a list and a computer that you can run, that's not going to be enough. If you really want to be successful and make money, it's learning the ins and outs of all these softwares and the things that you can do with them that really help you hone in and target your the audience that you want to impact and not just spam the entire universe because you know in a sense you know when I'm filling out contact forms in a very general sense I am spamming them but if I'm directly contacting plastic surgeons with something that is alluring to anyone that is in the marketplace that provides elective surgeries well then this is a home run understand and that is how you really want to learn to make money is to find the products and build your list and target your campaigns around specific audiences and that's when you start to realize here's where the opportunities to make money are okay I've decided to stop this harvest and let's export this as a CSV and this is going to be my Surgeons, Plastic Surgeons, New York, SB, that means scrape box, okay? So now I have that, let's close that, let's close this, and here's all my URLs are now in here, see that? And you see, likewise, I got a lot of contacts, some not. And these lists, probably going to need to be cleaned. There might be things here I don't want, like Google Chrome Web Store. So I want to remove these from my list, do a little cleanup. So I might say, let's see, remove filter. First, let's remove our duplicate URLs. So we have 20,977. Oof, look at that. URLs in the list drop down to 162. So I just learned a big list lesson. There aren't 20,000 necessarily I'm going to get out of the New York area. And most likely, the probably the better thing for me to do with this is to use a smaller keyword list. This list is pretty large and not all of my best things are necessarily at the top. And so I might think that after running this, I want to take a small section like this and take this and, and just take a small section of these breast implant safe phrases and see how it works. Now, what's going to happen is, look, this software is going to go out like it's searching Google and these platforms. You know, it's going to get some of the same results over and over and over again. And that's what happened. So, hey, 162. I'm not really that big a big a winner over here, but let's come back to our. Oh wait, same system here. Let's come back here to our GSA. Oh no. Sorry, I'm starting to brain fart. Now GSA. I had gotten this list. Let's take a look at that. Okay, this was that crazy list I started harvesting, so let's clear this. And import and replace. In here, I put my plastic surgeons list from GSA. 
and I got 72.83. So let's remove duplicates. I got 72.83. Now, this list is a broad list. It's not focused on a certain region of the world. So in a very real sense, I was a winner with GSA using this approach with the list that I did on, on using, sorry about that, using the GSA contact. So, learning the ins and outs of how you're going to build a successful list. But look, there's things in here I can see already. Like this stuff, this is going to have to be removed. So things like this that have IPs. And there's a lot of little sorting tools that help you clean your list and get it, you know, tuned up. So you get rid of things that are not going to be useful to your promotion in any way or sense because obviously there are going to be things that are listed on resource sites and we're not necessarily looking to contact them but we want to you know we're really looking to get the real doctors and surgeons what i'm looking to promote has no value to other sites that might just be listing them so that being said now i'm going to put the yellow pages component on one of my scrape boxes and do another scrape but this is going to be using the yellow pages and then we're going to see what some scenarios with that looks like now this video is already reaching 40 minutes and I don't like the videos to go too long not more than an hour and we have so much more to discuss here we're going to break this into two parts so while this is going to be scrape box part one this is also the real reality of making money online part one okay because this is how it really starts so what I suggest is you get yourself a copy of Scrapebox I'm not an affiliate I don't even know if they have an affiliate program but it's only ninety seven dollars per license which you're gonna license to a single system this limited time deal it's not a limited time deal it's always here they just try to make it seem like get it now before the deal is over but it's always $97, okay? And remember, whatever machine you license on, it's licensed on there until the end of the month. Unless, you know, at the beginning of a new month, you start on another system, the license will resync to that system and get yourself started. Now, like I demonstrated here, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of add-ons here, as you can see. The link extractor, we're gonna be talking about that. Uh, you know, there's a lot of tools here. I just don't really, has no purpose in my world, okay? But the premium plugins, here are some things of some value. And so as you're starting to, you know, develop some, try to get an understanding of this software and how you want to use it, what you're first going to need is a copy. And so as you start to tinker with it a little bit and explore it, and you, you don't have to even have proxies to get started tinkering. Just run your... Just run your VPN, Express VPN, whatever you use, okay? And you can do little short, short bursts, you know, of things just for test. Or you get yourself some proxies. I'll put a link for a proxy service in the bottom, which has good HTT proxies, affordable. You get yourself a list of 10. It's all you're going to need. And you'll use those outside of this software as well. But we'll cover more of that in the next video. What I really want to hit home with you in these videos is that, look, if you want to understand first, you want to learn all the little ins and outs of some of these features, come here to Ryan Borden's YouTube channel, search Scrapebox Tutorials, he comes up, you see his face, you know, he's been around forever, he's got 12 years of videos, he's got one on every little topic and detail of how this scraping software is used and utilized and you can see his more recent videos are starting to take a tone turn to lead into his other channel and which with chase reiner to sell these training courses okay now another guy you want to take a look for is ivan seo now this guy he's the real deal and what he does is he sells a lot of very targeted lists to people that are doing very high-end marketing and this is the road that we are starting to talk about here but in here he has a couple of good scrape box videos a lot of this stuff he's got some videos about proxies and things that he covers as he's changing companies a lot of good stuff in here it's not for everyone but you'll definitely find two or three videos in here at the very least 
two on scrape box and probably something else that might be a similar interest in something that you're interested in promoting he does a very good job another another good resource you can always just search for scrape box tutorials there's a few other good random videos out there where you'll pick up a few tips or a hint about something that perhaps somebody else missed like anything you know you want to do your homework if you want to if you want to get if you want to be this make all this money a day because look I'm on their mailing list so I'll get emails from these guys every day and then I'll see this email that says hey so-and-so made their first sale you know listen everything is logistics if I got a hundred people signed on to my course this month and they're all trying to do it and you know chances are most of them they're really failing and then you get the one guy who gets something you know he's using their lists and they go whoa here it is but the real reality is what they're really teaching you is the basics how to get started they're giving you a course you know the vast majority of people who take courses they're not probably going to make it you know only a few in every class really go on to be the people that actually successfully do something but for them to do that they need to get beyond the course and understand things at a deeper level and take it to the next level you are only going to get jump started with other people's lists and that is also how I recommend to start because it's how you're going to learn but when you really want to get to the real making money online well guys that's when you've got to learn your way on how to do many of these things yourself so you can control the type of list that you want to make and taper them to the type of things that you're really marketing and that's where real success is going to come in all of this now one thing I just want to point out very briefly about this guy Ivan SEO he's not using scrape box for the type of purposes that we're using it for he's creating b2b lists for salespeople in specific marketplaces where they're going to be doing much more of a direct marketing approach email phone calls contact follow-up and so he gets all the information about them the websites the emails contact phone numbers regions the whole nine yards he's very good at this so same software different application and I'm sure he may use things like GSA to market his list to people that's probably part of his angle but that's not what he's teaching here but he does happen to have uh, two or maybe three things with uh, scrape box ah look he's even got a video on GSA in here but he he's definitely got some useful things in here that are worth checking out and really helps you see to demonstrate some of the power that scrape box potentially has so you can think big think outside the box think about the big picture and the different angles this is the the real definition of people saying hey I I carved out a niche or you know what does that word mean niche that you found a way an approach to really sh kind of strike gold within a certain genre or uh, business model or type and everyone finds their way to make that work and he, this guy's developed some really good niches in developing these sorts of resources for people because look running these softwares and learning how to you know run all of these things they're involved and I'm a salesman I know all of this stuff I know what I need but I'm not going out and running scrape box and doing all that when I can go and get a guy and tell him I need some b2b stuff and he can basically taper my list and make what I want for me that's the road you're gonna go and likewise it is with this guys dark marketing dot biz is not yet functioning I'm hoping to bring it online with some services by the end of the month this website is for you guys for the guys that are going to be going down the path of using these softwares that we outline on this channel from Scrapebox money robot GSA my intention was to provide things that are for this specific audience and people who are going down this road affiliate marketing SEO etc however if you found these videos because you do your own SEO you're an SEO agency you realize that you need high quality backlinking to help you with your SEO expanding your presence on search engines and other platforms then 
visit us at seo-depot.com. We have packages there. We also provide SEO services. There's going to be a lot of new content posted here in the coming days and some new services available. Come and check it out. Any questions, we have the chat app in the bottom right-hand corner. Give us a visit. As always, guys, if you like these videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, a like, and to subscribe if you want to see more great videos like this one. Now, just in closing, I want to say quickly, we have a part two coming up on scrape box and money making making money online as this is really for the back end of the gsa contact form manager software but we're also going to be doing ranker x and x rumor will be coming up so this way we kind of cover the whole gambit of those softwares that i use and then you will decide which ones are best in your arsenal so that's it for now everyone have a great day and a happy fourth of july